Hello and welcome to Path of Titans where I'm going to be doing a little tutorial video, video today. So it's come to my attention that critters can be difficult for people to hunt but also difficult to identify which one you need for your quest. So I'm going to do a little video going all over all the different types, uh, some strategies on hunting, and helping you learn how to identify which one you need for the quest. So first off, finding a critter den. Now, if you have the hunt critter quest, which you can see right here, I have kill three. Did, oh, by the way, I should mention, I'm going to mispronounce names. I'm sorry. I just, that's going to happen. I'm going to call this a Dedelphodon. It might be wrong. I don't care. Kill three Dedelphodons. Dedelphodons. That is my current quest. So if you have a critter quest, you will see a little claw swipe in blue on your map. And you will also see, sorry, I have to hit, I have to hit tab so I can use my cursor, a little claw swipe pointing you in the direction of a, the nearest critter den. So, sorry, I, hitting tab, I was also having my fingers too close to my tail attack. So that is how you find critter dens if you have the quest. If you have a hunt herbivore quest, you will not get those claw swipe icons, which will help you find the critter den. So you'll have to do it by sight. So just looking at the den, you will see there is a burrow, a mound of dirt, one upright stump, and one fallen branch. All critter dens look like this. Ignore that third stump, that's just random. So this is a critter den. Yep, mound of dirt, one stump, and a fallen tree. All of them look this direction, this way. And eventually, you will be able to learn how to see it from a distance and be like, oh, that's a critter den. But if you have the quest, it's going to be even easier. So there are four critters at the moment. There is the Platy Hysterix, which is a amphibian looking frog thing with a sail on its back. They are colorful and they croak like frogs. You have the Dedelphodon, which I have the quest for, which are a mammal. They look kind of like a ferret or maybe an otter. They kind of make barking sounds. There is the Paleoseninwa, the lizard which looks like a lizard, it hisses. And then there's the rat, which doesn't make any noise until you bite or hit, kill it. And it is the smallest and hardest to catch. So we are going to start going by these one by one to take a look at them, and then we'll cover some strategies. So let's get going. Okay, so let's start with the planet. As you can see, it is a little four-legged frog thing. It croaks like a frog, and it has a big sail on its back, like a dimetrodon or spinosaurus or something. Very easy to tell apart from the others. Um, it's not that hard to catch compared to like the rat. The sail and the colors help you keep track of it. The croaking is also a good way to keep track. It used to stop and croak periodically, but it doesn't seem to do that as much anymore. Let's take a closer look. Now, Ansel is being a bit of a pain in that if I let go of the forward key, it makes me move backwards out of my control. So I have to keep pressing the forward key. So this is the platy. He's a little, I'm trying to get a good view without Ansel messing me up. Come on, Ansel, work with me here. Apparently, Ansel is not going to work, so we're going to have to do a higher up view. But yeah, they're very colorful. They have four little stubby legs, and they croak. Very, very easy to tell apart from the others. So if, you, if your quest says you need a platy hysterix, this is what you're looking for. And the good news is, this seems to be the most common one. Maybe I'm just unlucky, but it seems like two out of three times, I get a platy out of a critter den. Like I said, maybe I'm just unlucky. But yeah, it takes three bites to kill one. Come here, you little guy. And one more. There we go. Three bites to kill, colorful, four legs. That's pretty much all you need to know. 
Now the Dedelphodon, or as I call it, the ferret, is a bit... It's a little harder to keep track of because it doesn't have the tall fin and it's not super bright colors. It's gonna, just like the platy, it's gonna dig out, make a sound, in this case a bark, and then start running. And like the platy, it also takes three hits to kill it. Now they're a bit lower to the ground and harder to keep track of in the, in the shrubs and bushes and stuff. But you can always listen to the footsteps to keep it, uh, you know, to, to help you figure out where it's gone if you lose track of it. So, again, like the platy, it takes three hits to kill, but we're going to take a closer look at it. And again, Ansel wants me to move specifically backwards, so I have to keep holding forwards so I can... So I can, uh, get a look at this. So this is not going to be a great picture because I cannot move any closer unless I use zoom. But yeah, so... They look kind of like an otter or a ferret. I guess an otter is fairly close, especially with that, th that uh, thicker tail. They're larger than the rat, and they have uh, a variety of colors. There's like a badger one, and then this more African wild dog colored one. Yeah, so three hits to kill. Let's do it. And you, of course, you'll know when you do damage to them, because they will make their little sound. In the platy's case, that was a croak. In the ferret's case, that is a, a bark. I guess that's kind of a bark noise. There we go. And it's dead. So yeah, if you have the Delphidon quest, you're looking for this little guy. He's pretty cute. Now, the Paleo Sanimwa, however you pronounce that dumb name, the lizard, is... Well, it's a lizard. It looks like a monitor lizard, or you might mistake it for a baby Mytilania at first glance. They're really large. And surprisingly quick for how big they are. They kind of make a hissy. They dig out, make a hissing noise, and then run. Uh, they come in a couple of colors. There's a reddish one, kind of a sandy one, and then this green and brown one here. Let's see if we can't... Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, again, listen for the footsteps. If you can hear its little pitter-patter of feet, that will normally tell you where it goes if you lose track of it. I'm trying to chase it to a spot where we can get a good look at it. And again, Ansel wants me to move backwards only, so... But yeah, so he's just a little lizard. Very simple, very easy. He has a thinner, longer face than Megalania, I think. But yeah, I mean, if you dug him out, you shouldn't get him confused with the baby Megalania because he'll, you'll be chasing him. But yeah, easy to tell little guy. And unlike Platy and Adelphodon, he only takes one hit to kill. Boom, dead. Easy peasy. Now, the rat is not easy. Unlike the other three, the rat does not seem to have a quest associated with it. Or at least, I have never gotten a quest for it. I've not, I've not heard of anyone else having a quest for the rat. I don't even know if the rat is actually called a rat. Now, did you notice? It did not make a noise, and it just immediately started running. So the other three, they dig out, they pause, and then they make their characteristic sound. A croak, a bark, or a hiss. The rat just starts running immediately. And he is the hardest for me to catch... For one, because he's tiny. He's really easy to lose, even in tall grass. You know, even even outside of bushes, he's easy to lose. And two, he just immediately takes off as soon as he digs out. So this is definitely the trickiest one to catch. He's so easy to lose in the uh, foliage. Like, I can't even get a good screenshot of him. But yeah, he looks like a rat. He looks like a mouse, a rat. Okay, uh, let's let's try and get a better picture. Let's chase him more out into the open. Um, the stream. Let's chase him to the stream. They tend to run opposite of you, so... Ugh, Ansel, please. Please, Ansel. Why are you this way? Alright, anyways, there you go. He looks like a rat. Long pointy nose, round ears, long tail. He's the smallest critter right now. He doesn't make noise when he digs out. He just immediately starts running. So yep, there's the little guy. And like the lizard, he only takes one hit to kill. 
but he is definitely the most annoying one to chase simply because of how small he is and how quickly he takes off. So now that we looked at the four different types of critters, let's look at some hunting strategies. So there is, of course, the one you've already seen in this video. You chase it down until you kill it. And that works for the dinosaurs that can chase them down, like Serato. But slower carnivores are more out of, they have a harder time because they're slower. They can't keep up. So this strategy relies entirely on luck and you'll have a better time of it in an area with a lot of obstacles like this. And that is to get them stuck. You chase it until it hits an obstacle and then its AI bugs out just like that. And you can kill it at your leisure. Oh look, he's doing his croaking now. So when they stand still, they tend to make their noise. Their croak, their bark, their hiss, whatever. But yeah, so if you're a slower carnivore, you can always try getting it stuck. But it's completely luck-based. So let's try a more guaranteed strategy as a slower carnivore. So I have dug a lizard out of this burrow. And instead of chasing it, I'm staying right where I'm at. You know why? Because critters, after not being chased for a while, will come back to the critter burrow. It takes a lot longer, and they could get stuck out there, and you'll never know it because, you know, you didn't follow it. But they will walk back to the critter burrow after you dig them out, and that is when you can get them as a slower dino. Because, like, Dasp has trouble chasing critters, especially younger, but even adult ones can have trouble because they're just not very fast. And to get around that, this the best strategy I have found is to just wait at the burrow for the critter to return and then eat it. Uh, anyways, I'll just leave that there because, you know, those are the basic strategies. You chase it, you get it stuck, or you wait for it to return. Or you have a faster friend catch it for you. But that kind of ties into the same one as strategy one. Anyways, I hope this helps people who have been having trouble either finding critter burrows, identifying what critter they need, or hunting them in general. And thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video.